Rocksters. If you have not already subscribed and joined the family, please subscribe below. Hit a like. I decided to do this short video because I've been watching a couple of them and I think they're hilarious to hear everybody's unpopular opinion. And actually in some of the videos I've watched, I actually agree with the people's opinions. So if I have an opinion that you agree with, please comment down below because I would I'm just curious to know if anybody agrees with me about some of these things. The first one, I have always felt this way ever since I was little, and I know my parents are going to be like, what? I hate the beach. I cannot stand the beach. It's so hot. I always get sunburned, and there are just some places where sand should not be. I'm just not a big fan of the beach. I love being there with my family, but the actual beach part, hate it. Hate it. Um, I hate concerts. Everybody else like wants concert tickets and stuff like that. I hate them. They make me extremely nervous just how close the people sit and how loud it is and then you know with the flashing lights and it makes me so nervous the whole time. I cannot enjoy the music because I am nervous. I hate concerts. A lot of you might give me a dislike for this but I do not think it's funny when YouTubers do pranks on their significant other about breaking up. I do not think it's funny. I actually always feel bad for the person that the prank's being done to. I cannot imagine Kenny pranking me and saying that we are breaking up. Like, it's just not funny. I don't enjoy those videos whatsoever. It's not funny. Men in flip-flops weird me out. I know that that seems kind of, um, kind of like, kind of mean. But I don't mean it in a mean way, like I don't judge a man for wearing flip flops, but it just weirds me out. Something about like the little hair, hairs on their toes, I just can't handle it. Just can't handle it. Okay, um, I love the smell of weird stuff. If someone paints a room or is pumping gas, like I love those smells. Everybody else says that they stink, but I'm low key like, oh that smells so good. <laughs> I know that's so weird, but my opinion I think it smells good fighting in a relationship is so healthy it, it it's so healthy I did not used to think this until I got married and now that I actually am with a person who is able to have a healthy fight with me I understand that fighting is healthy fighting is healthy if you're not fighting with your significant other if you've never bickered with them chances are that nine times out of ten in their head they are mad at you but they're too afraid to say anything fighting is healthy I think that it is when two people are not afraid to voice their opinion with another person because they know that you know hopefully they will be able to have a healthy conversation and get through it and that's something that Kenny has taught me it's actually it is actually possible to have a conversation with a man if you would ask me that a couple years ago I'd have said heck to the no it is not possible okay the very last um, opinion that I have and I hope that I explain this right I know a lot of people will say um, love is just a feeling love is just a feeling uh, that's a part but I feel like the feeling of love on a scale of like 1 to 10 it's a very small portion of it like I think the feeling maybe a five well we'll say 50 50 the feeling of love is five but then the other five is a choice I honestly think that love is a choice at some point when you're with somebody you choose to love them regardless of their flaws you know um, that's just how I feel after you've been with someone for I would say longer than a year there are gonna be days when you wake up and y'all are just not getting along or you're not seeing eye to eye or maybe you want space or whatever but you love is making a conscious effort every morning when you wake up to be good to that person and to always choose that person so when you love somebody it means every single day choosing them over and over and over and over and I think that's why I know that I am just I was supposed to be with Kenny because I don't know any man that I would re-choose in this whole world, but I do. Every single day I re-choose to love Kenny and 
you know, act the way that I should every single day. So, those are my unpopular opinions. Please comment down below if you agree because it will make me feel better and make me feel less crazy if somebody agrees with me. Like I said, please subscribe to this video and if you have any additional questions for me or Kenny, I think we're going to do a Q&A video once we get a couple more subscribers, so comment them down below. Bye Braxters!